Grok 3 have a brand new update, which is studio mode. And essentially this is ChatGPT Canvas and you can use it to generate documents, code reports. You can actually run browser games directly in your browser. I'm going to show you live previews of exactly how that works today. It's actually free to use and you can get it at grok.com. I'll show you exactly how to use this inside the features. And also here's the other thing is you get a new workspaces feature here too, which is kind of like Claw projects. And on top of that, you can also go to the drop down here in the attached section, click on connect to Google Drive, and you can actually create files directly on your Google Drive that you've generated from Grok. So lots of cool updates here. For example, if you ask Grok to generate code, you can see how it runs in the preview section here. The UI is a lot nicer than something like ChatGPT Canvas, which we'll come on to in a second. And like I was saying, Google Drive support. So Grok users can now attach files from their Google Drive, Grok can work with documents, especially slides, etc., which is all pretty cool. Now, again, this is free. Free users are limited to 10 prompts every two hours, and the context window is 128,000 tokens. So let's get straight into using this. So for example, if we go over to Grok here and we say, right, okay, create an SEO optimized article, bow, and actually we'll take one of my favorite prompts for generating SEO content. Like you see over here, we'll go back to Grok. And now we'll say, okay, keyword equals SEO training London. We'll plug that in. What you're going to see now is the preview mode. Okay. So this is the new studio mode from preview. The other cool thing here is that you actually get version history. So if you create a new version, you'll see it on the drop down. Plus, if you're creating HTML, like you can see right here, then you can use that to generate a preview too of the actual web page. Now, the UI to me is much nicer. And I'll show you some examples of tools that you can build in a second. So for example, let's say you just want to create something basic like a SEO keyword tool. It's going to generate the index HTML over here. And you can see it's using JavaScript and Tailwind CSS. That's going to generate the code. And then once that's done, you will see the preview on this side. And then from here, we can start using it however we want. All right. So if we put SEO link building, click generate keywords. So if we type in generate keywords here, you can now see that we get the keyword, the search volume competition, and that is available to preview. Now, if you want to download the code, you can download it to a file right there, and then you can host it on something like Netlify. And also if we change this and we say, okay, make this allow me to enter my own API key plus add a nice color gradient background. You can see that's now generating on the right hand side over here. There we go. Now, if we click on version history, we can flick between the two different versions, which is super useful. You can copy the code, you can download it. You can actually refresh it as well. Like you can see in case it breaks and then you can edit directly inside the canvas, like you can see right here. So here I'm connecting this to crop.com on my Google drive, like you can see. And then if we click on add from Google drive, we can actually select files directly here. For example, you can see here, I've attached a file from Google drive directly. That's going to sync. And then if we say, okay, create a colorful. Now, one thing I want to check here, I've never tested this before. Obviously it's a brand new feature, but let's say create a colorful Google PowerPoint directly from this and turn it into a beautiful simplified Google slides. It's reading the attachments. I don't know if this is actually going to be able to create Google drive documents as well, but we can test it. So let's see how that goes. It doesn't seem to work at all, to be honest with you. So just something to bear in mind there is it says it's got Google slides integration. It says it's got Google docs integration, but that does not seem to work at all. Let's just test the settings inside site settings here. So I'm just going to allow pop-ups and direct redirects, and then we'll refresh the page and see if that works instead. This is good for you to see though, because then you can see, okay, what happens and how to fix it if it breaks. So I think this is what's supposed to happen. For example, you can see someone said, prepare a report, attach the CSV from Google drive. If we actually go back to Grok now, that is totally failing. So just bear in mind like that Grok into that Google drive integration, not that great, but the actual studio mode is pretty cool. So if we go back here, we say, okay, create an interactive music keyboard tool. It should generate it right here. And there we go. So we've got the interactive music keyboard. We can switch between the code and the preview. And there we go. And then if you have any changes, you can just type in the bottom left here. So let's say, for example, okay, make the background colorful and interesting, basically like a free version of Bolt or honestly, like I've tested other stuff like Firebase recently, Google Firebase. Honestly, if you look at my tests, 
Bolt and Lovable are still winning. But actually, if you can use this for free and you get 10 generations per day, that's more than enough for you to create your own tools. And I wouldn't see why you need Bolt anymore unless you need to create like a massive project. But if you need like a simple one page HTML, this is good to go. And you can see that's pretty cool. Like it's just changing colors in the background as we use the interactive music keyboard. If you click on recent as well, you'll see all the recent files you've added right here. So that's pretty useful. And then workspaces here, you can basically create your own projects. So for example, like my team, they use this YouTube transcripts feature all the time. If we take the prompt from that, plug it into the workspace here. So we'll edit the instructions, paste this in, hit save. And you can also add attachments right here and you can see previous conversations. And then if we take an example YouTube transcript, so let's grab this, plug it in, copy that. If you like automations like this, by the way, check out the AI profit boardroom, it comes with all my best stuff. And then if we go back to Grok, we'll paste in the transcript, hit enter. And without any prompting, that's going to start generating the blog content based on the custom instructions that I've given Grok. So that's pretty cool as well. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to a community that focuses on making money and saving time with AI, feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. Inside the community, you can ask 670 members any questions that you have, any struggles that you're getting. You can see everyone's helping each other out right now. Very active community. And inside the classroom here, you can get access to all my best automations for social media, email, AI agents, AIC automations, NA10 templates, and Q&A call recordings, along with my best SAPs. And there's actually weekly Q&A's like you can see right here. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a custom tailored game plan so you can generate more lead sales and profits to your website based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.